Hi, in this video we're going to show you a way to add dynamically changing desktop wallpapers to your computer. So it's called Win Dynamic Desktop. So how it works, you just install it. It's uh, free from the Microsoft Store. And then once you do install it, it's going to ask you how you want to configure it. So you could add your location to determine when the sunrise and sunset times are. You could use Windows to find your location, or you could add specific sunrise and sunset times and then you'll have various wallpapers you could choose from and then they will change as the time changes. Okay, so I already have this installed and configured. So now I have it running here. You could see I have one of the wallpapers already configured. And as you could see, as the time changes, the wallpaper will change with it. So if you want to pick a different one, you just need to go here. Let's say we want Catalina. So you can click on download or apply. So downloading it will just download it, applying will download it and then apply it to your computer. So let's try this. So now you can see we have the Catalina wallpaper. And then if we go back to the app, we can see how it'll look as time changes. And then there's some other ones down here as well. They're not all scenic but you could see how we have some kind of cartoon looking ones, just some design ones, even a Windows 11 looking one. And then you could change it for the display and the lock screen. Then you could also import some themes from a file if you have one. Then if you click on get more themes online, let's say we'll just open it with Edge here. You have some additional themes that you could download. So some are paid, some are free, but you could check those out as well. All right, so once again, just go to the Microsoft Store, do a search for Win Dynamic Desktop, all one word there, just to make sure you get the right one. Uh, make sure you find the one by Timothy Johnson, look for this icon, just download it, set your initial configuration, and that's all you have to do. Then if you go to your Start menu, you'll be able to find it there as well. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.